this lesson we want to talk about painting a backlit landscape where the sun is more in front of the viewer anywhere along in here and the light effects I think become a lot easier to paint that way as well as more dramatic which was what makes it easier when we paint backlit subjects everything vertical becomes dark from the trees shrubbery, the rocks, they're verticals, they're small but verticals. Even the slanted hills, which are slanted, they're not vertical, but they're still more dark. And then everything has a bit of a light edge to it. And it creates a lot of strong contrast. The flats are usually always light, you know, except for where there's some cast shadows. But the sun is in front and creates a lot of contrast, a lot of rim lighting. In other words, the lighting just hits the rim of the trees or the rocks and it's very effective for for dramatic lighting the alternative is or the opposite is when we're looking at this scene and the sun is at our back then everything gets washed out everything's very light with a few little dark accents uh, not as dramatic not as many large dark shapes it's mostly all light with a few dark accents and less contrast and harder to make it look interesting. It looks simpler, but I think harder to make the painting look more interesting. The backlighting looks probably harder, but it's actually a lot easier to simplify. So when I look at this real quickly, I want to, um, this is the equivalent of ultramarine blue, a little bit of, um, yellow and a touch of red and just get a dark and I can push this cooler I can have more blue in it and we can always push the temperature I'm not pushing the color much here I'm not changing the shapes where I'm when I'm drawing this this backlight shadow in first to get these get these shapes this is where I can change the shape of these of these trees. Some of the other trees are a bit lighter just because their color is lighter, but these are still backlit. I have to see it in shadow first. Same thing in here. And I'm not copying the photo exactly. This is probably more the color I would use with the paint. It's not photographic color. I'm thinking in terms of what I can mix with the colors on my palette. Even the yellow trees and shrubbery here, they have a darker yellow to them, which would be you know, like cad yellow light with a little bit of deoxazine purple. There's my backlit. So all these in here, even the violet. And that's all my back lighting, that's, or the shadow in the back lighting. Then in the light areas, everything becomes a simplified, that's a change the shape of that make it a bit more interesting but which I will do in the painting but everything is is rim lighting it kind of hits the edges and the sides and overlap a little bit and there's a lot more contrast with backlighting again I'm not changing the shape of these trees here but probably will in the painting to make them look a little more interesting that's a bit but I, I always tend to push the color a bit stronger in backlighting because there's so much contrast that you can push the, the light areas a little stronger a little warmer push the shadow areas a little darker cooler I'm going to pull these rocks together make some bigger ones but the rocks are also verticals in other words they become bigger shapes not too much I could have some of these small shapes in here but most of them I want to pull together even have some out in Now I could have some smaller ones too, but in there I want a lot of lighter, go a bit brighter. Because again, the more I can emphasize that contrast, the better. 
that backlighting really sets it up for a lot of strong darks and lights, even back in here. It would be better to block all the rocks in dark and then come in and just hit some lights in there. I could make it as busy or as simple as I wanted. Same thing with these logs. They're a dark with rim lighting. So the backlighting, again, when you're conscious of looking for it, you can find it a lot better. And it's easier to see and, and, and knowing what to look for, it's easier to paint. Same thing here with these, you can see the dark. All the trees are mostly a dark with a little bit of light along the tops and on the sides. Even the shadow in here, it's the sun's um, in front, so the shadows are going to be coming towards us here. Gives it that feeling of the sun being behind, and then when I simplify those trees, and again, kind of a cad yellow light, a little bit of orange, and some blue. And I look for that vertical plane on the tree, and then the rim lighting on the on the top. And that really sets it up for a lot of strong contrast. And the simpler I can see that, uh, the better. Get some dark accents in there. And the same thing with the uh, background hills. Now these are very busy, but it is backlit, so it's it's a lot easier to be able to come in, come in here and simplify those shadows quite a bit. Leave a little bit of lighting on the tops. And this is a bit too warm of a violet. I need to go more blue. I can kind of pick and choose, pull those lights together, create bigger darks in here. And again, just have the light hitting on the tops. Um, again, because it is backlit, it's easier to do that. And that simplifies the background. I don't have to simplify it this much, but that does make it easier to read and see. I could always come back and add a few more few more lights in there. And I could decide I want more detail on the trees, less on the mountains, uh, less in the foreground. So again, that backlighting, I think it really does make it uh, a lot more dramatic to paint, plus a little bit easier in the sense that you know everything that's vertical is going to be darker and just easier to find.